Got him, little guy. That was fun. I had to pitch at him three or four times, get him to bite. He'd grab it and run off with it, grab it and run off with it. Catch us another one on there. There ought to be another one right up here. Maybe he's on the other side. Another old spotted bass. Little bitty thing. I don't know how I got that jig in his mouth. <laughs> but they are fun. Nonetheless. They are fun. And there's one on every one of these little lay downs. Up there here, it seems like. Go on here. This one right here, a little stump out here ought to have one on it. There he is. <laughs> I saw him come get it. <laughs> Seen him come off the stump to come get it, boy. He wanted it. Let's give us another bug. <laughs> I think he's got a sore mouth. I don't think he's gonna come play again. This tree up here ought to have one on it, honestly. This standing tree right here. Hmm. Almost like they want it laying more of a lay down than anything. This one up here will have one. Got to hold up right there. He came off too. Yeah, Garney. Didn't think I had a good hook set. That's my bad. Let's see, try some other one there. There he is. That one I got. <laughs> Little old spotter bar. Little guys. Catch us a good one, eventually. There's a good old spotter. Old spotty bass on the crankbait. That is a pretty, pretty fish right there. Pretty fish. Fishing current. <clears throat> Pretty fish. Let's put him back. Oh. Now what I'm doing today is I'm fishing these little current breaks in this creek off the main river, fishing the Ohio River. You can see right out here we got a, a little stump and there's actually a lay down that goes out that way. And it's just creating a little bit of current break and you can see the current going by it and he, he's sitting right in behind it right where he's supposed to be <clears throat> one thing about fishing current is sometimes when you find a little current break like that it's going to have especially when it's out off the bank it might have two or three fish on it and sometimes more than that so we'll see if we can hit it again bring it up kind of kill it i don't see anybody else home yet Make another little pitch at him. Now, there's lots of different types of current breaks to, to fish. Like this one here is out off the bank like we talked about. And it's, uh, it's gonna have this current flushing into it and it's gonna have current coming back around on both sides. So it gives the fish the ultimate positioning to where they can be facing one direction or the other out of the current and bait can flush by them. Now we're coming up on another one up here which is more of a bank contour uh, current break and right here this creates a little back eddy so anytime you have anything like that off the bank sometimes it'll make current go back up the other way and that is a, a premium premium place 
to find some fish. This one here, you can see, it's a big root wad or a big uh, tree base that comes out off the bank right here. This is another perfect place for one to be sitting. But you really gotta pay attention to these bank changes when you're fishing current, when you're fishing in a creek or, uh, or a river. The bank change, <clears throat> there was a bite. The bank changes everything. Um, you know, the little nuances, up here we got a little, a little drain coming down off the bank, another high percentage area. Anywhere we can get a little current break for those fish to sit in, that's where they're gonna be. Sometimes it's stuff that you can't see. You know, it could be a rock out off the bank. So I just constantly looking at my 360, just looking for that extra little something out in front of me, a lay down, a stump, anything that I can make a cast at and pull my bait over top of and just bring it down as natural as can be. When I'm fishing current, I always wanna fish into the current casting up up current bring that bait down give it the most natural presentation that you possibly can and that goes for anything Oop, had a little one follow it now that was a bluegill that followed it up now i noticed that bluegill had a lot of chartreuse in his tail so uh if we flip later which we will flip some trees or something we want to make sure we take note to that put a little bit of chartreuse on our bug there to look like those bluegill. Oh, that's a predictable place. There'll be one right in here. Too predictable. There he is. Lift him. Lift him, lift him, lift him. But he's right where he's supposed to be. Yep. No. He did thing again. Right, let's pick up a different bait. No, we don't want to throw a bug at him. We'll be catching him now. There he is. Golly. That little booger is messing with my head. Yeah, that little booger. Well, I mean, even though these don't have a lot of size to them, they're real predictable on where they're going to be. I mean, you come up to a piece of cover and it looks like, to me, if it's standing, it needs to be out off the bank farther. And it's just because it's creating more current break. And if it's laying down, it don't really matter. That's something that you pick apart as you go. But I'm just flipping, you know, and swimming this swim jig from upstream to downstream, just like it would be their natural you know, how it would come downstream naturally to them. And then you also have to watch eddies. Like we got a little bit of an eddy here, so this is gonna come back up. So I'm pitching actually downstream and letting it come up. But that's giving it uh, that natural, natural appearance. Getting the buzzer bait. Mm. Pretty one. Pretty one, pretty one. It's not. Look at this little old thing. Came and got him a buzz bait. Another little bitty old dinker. Dink fest. There's one. Another little guy. Dankers, man, dankers. Oh, little dude. All right, guys. Gonna strap the boat down real quick. It was fun. Get out for an afternoon. Go catch us some spotted bass. Had a good time doing it. Throwing a swim jig, buzz bait and fishing current. So a couple things to remember, this is the Ohio River, so it is tough, tough, tough. I mean, and, and this is just a creek off of the Ohio River. And, uh, and it's a fun little creek. Uh, sometimes they're in here real good and sometimes they're not. 
uh, today was the latter. They weren't uh, good ones, had a lot of bites and caught a lot of little ones. But nonetheless, it is always fun to get the boat on the water and go rip a couple lips. So just a few touch base real quick on a few things to remember about fishing current. You always want to use a lighter weight when you're flipping because the bait's such a natural fall uh, as it's just kind of flowing down the current. Always pitch up current, let your bait flush past the cover that you're fishing. And a lighter weight will just allow that bait to glide and to float past those fish. It looks very, very natural by doing so. A lot of times you won't feel the bite. Um, you'll just see your line start to swim off because they just grab it and suck it in and you never even feel them thump it, never even feel them bite it. It's a really cool bite and it can be a lot of fun. And current in general is just high percentage, uh, which is why I love to fish it. In fact, my favorite time to fish current is in the dog days of summer when it's hot and it's just tricky to get a bite. The hard part then is to find the creeks that still have a little current in them where the water's not stagnant. Get a little bit of rain, get a little water coming in, and in the hot, hot days of summer, you can get way up one of these creeks in the shade and fish current and have a really, really good time. Thanks for watching, guys. Another episode here at Sew In Outdoors. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. We will see you guys out on the pond. Till next time. We out.